So now it's time to start work on the electronics that are going to go into this thing. And I have this lovely piece of 120 mil um, square um, section, which is a brilliant size. It's very hard to find these days. You can find 100 mil, but 120 mil is, seems to be pretty thin on the ground. I was very lucky to find this piece in a scrapyard uh, for another project. And I'm going to use this to house the uh, PID, the uh, the the solid state relay, etc., etc. And I think I'm also going to put a fan in it just to keep the temperature down. This stuff is not too thick either. It's probably two mil, I would guess. Um, or three mil. Anyway, it's a fantastic uh, piece of scrap, and I'm just going to clean up the edge here so I've got a nice square piece and then I've no idea how deep it needs to be because some I'm not nearly as organized as others to know to have tested out the pieces but what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut cut it to nine inches um, start with that and then see where we go but that seems to me about right but first I want to clean up this edge <laughs> So I decided that one of these is probably going to be even more effective. <laughs> so let's see, I hate these things, but let's have a look. So I've now cleaned this piece and I have cut and um, ground these little squares which are about one and a half centimeter square and they're probably four millimeters thick and as you may have noticed the corners of these box sections are never perfectly square so what I'm going to do is I'm going to try and weld one in each corner like this if you can see that um, maybe it's easy if I show it on the other side like this and then I will put in a piece of steel sheet down which will hold my my components I haven't quite worked out how I'm going to do this yet um, so that is the next stage so the way I've decided to do it is <clears throat> using these uh, welders magnets and then I can put a piece on there like that 
in order to weld it. Um, God, I hope this is going to be good enough, I don't know. I suppose what I really should have is triangular pieces. So in a sense, take two, rethink. Triangles are going to work a lot better. Now obviously they're not going to work with these rounded corners. And I've just cut these with the angle grinder. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to clean them up and I'm going to grind off the corner so that they should touch here and here. And let's hope that geometrically they're sound. So that's the next job. So I've ground the corners off these, uh, these triangles. And the idea, of course, is to put them in here like that. Um, I'm going to turn that magnet over because that's the wrong side. So two things I've got to bear in mind here. One is I want them to be very level on the horizontal plane, but also I need all four of them to be at the same height um, off the edge so that the plate can, can sit in, if you see what I mean. Um, so I think that's a bit too much probably that's yeah that's nine mil I think I probably want something more like six mil Let's have a look. Six, well 5.7 that'll be great but it's gonna be hard to get 5.7 all the way around so I'll try and get a mind you they'll all be difficult when they anyway I'm gonna get on with that I'm gonna try and I'm gonna weld these on um, and uh, I'm going to hold my breath and hope this works. So I thought another way of doing this, which is probably a little more intelligent, is actually to uh, mark, let's say, six millimeters all the way around. Um, so I put some uh, marking fluid inside the, uh, the box section. I'm just going to mark. I mean, that's not going to be totally reliable either because there's that ding here. But Again, this, I'm, I'm not building a, uh, a spaceship here. It doesn't have to be perfectly accurate. I don't want it to look all sort of lopsided. So at least have some sort of visual guide as to where these things have to go. Actually, that's really quite helpful. Um, it sort of works as a concept. Actually, this box section's obviously had a bit of a whack because it ain't quite boxy. It ain't quite square. Then again, what do you expect if it comes out of a scrapyard and it was underneath about three cars? So, uh, a little bit low. Okay. All right, time to get to welding, I think. I have thought of another problem. Now that I put those weld beads in there, it's going to affect when I put the plate down.
Aha. I should have welded it from the bottom. Okay, that's tricky. But I'll see if I can grind these down. It's possible I can grind these down a bit, but it won't be easy. That would be very clever. You see, you always think of these things too late. Well, do you know what? Sure ain't pretty, but I think when it's painted and if I, you know, take a little bit of care, it's going to look all right and it's certainly going to do the job. Uh, my God, I really am rubbish with this. I probably not done my magnets much good either. But anyway, I've got a front on a frame and I'm going to mark out the bits for my electronics. So these are the pieces that have to go into this front plate, which is the actual PID itself, um, and a non-off switch. Um, so that's what I'm going to cut out. There's actually a frame for it, which is going to help me mark that out. And again, I will mark that out. So those are the next steps. In the end, I decided to recut the, the face because the other one I cut on the angle grinder was just awful. Uh, this one is much squarer, much neater, and now I'm going to mark out um, the cuts for the PID and for the switch. Right, first step, <clears throat> um, I'm going to drill some holes in the four corners and then going to mark them into the main body, tap that side and, um, and that will be the front panel ready and then there is the, of course, the uh, solid state relay and the heat sink and the transformer for the fan, blah blah, to put into the back or into the sides, into the main body. And then, of course, having to wire it all in there, which is also going to be a hell of a lot of fun. But, um, you know, it's getting there. So I've drilled the holes in the corners. Um, they are going to uh, be tapped M4. Well, not these, the, the bits on the main body. Um, th these are the only um, bolts up machine screws I've got at the moment which are not satisfactory but that's all I've got so that's what it is going to be for now 
It's when I find out that my worlds, worlds are rubbish. Okay, so now I'm going to drill and then tap. Okay, I can sort that out. Anyway, the proof, it's kind of there, isn't it? It's ugly as hell, but I will make it prettier than this. Um, okay, so really the next bit is to start working out where the interior bits are going to go. Um, so I'm supposed to, let's have a look at what they are. So let's quickly go through these pieces um, that are going to go inside. Uh, we've already met the PID and the switch. The next most important is the solid state relay here, which is going to have this tiny puppy heat sink glued onto it. That's got to go in there. Fan, which I will or will not put in. I haven't yet quite decided. Um, I probably will because I bought the transformer. So there's a transformer to convert the 240 volts into 12 volts for that. And this is the um, special adhesive, uh, thermal adhesive for the heat sink. So that's really where I am right now. Let's just check a little bit more that way, I think. I'll go and drill all these and then I'll be back. Okay, so we've got that hole drilled, ready for action. And we have these hole drilled to mount this on the other side, on the inside. Yeah, that'll work. And I realized there are two other holes which I hadn't taken into consideration, but they are going to be the holes also on this side to mount this against the bracket which I need to design for the side of the oven. I haven't done that yet, so that's going to be another little issue. And um, I'm being very slow at this, I realized, because I really don't know what I'm doing. I'm doing this very much as I go, trying to figure things out and... Uh, I'm very jealous of all those other guys on, on YouTube that seem to plan so much ahead because I really am not one of those. Anyway, um, I'll keep going and keep you coming along with me if you're still with me. Thanks a lot. <laughs> 